Hello, Masha. My name is Ping, and I would like to ask how do I trade the news? When we say trade the news, I assume we're talking about the economic indicators that come out regularly. You can find these on our, on our calendar. Also, my daily video goes through the day's schedule and tells you what to expect. Now, there are two ways you can trade these releases. You can take a position beforehand, or you can wait to see what the indicator is and place your order afterwards. Trading ahead of the release is, to be honest, a form of betting. You can make a lot of money if you can predict the indicators better than other investors. That's why the big Wall Street firms have whole teams of PhD economists and rocket scientists trying to predict these indicators. Frankly, even their record isn't so great. They can't do it reliably. If you think you can do better than them, then go ahead, give it a try. But please make sure you're using money that you don't mind losing. You can have some fun doing that, but I don't think it's a dependable way to make a living. The other way is to wait until after the indicator and trade then. The key here is to see not whether the figure is up or down, but rather how the actual number compares to what's expected. As I, I mentioned, the uh, major security firms have a lot of people trying to predict these indicators. Now, news agencies such as Bloomberg and Reuters then collect these forecasts and calculate an average or a median forecast several days ahead of the release. That number gets accepted as the market consensus for the indicator. Investors then factor that into their valuations in the days leading up to the announcement. If the figure does come out as expected, the market usually won't move very much. It's when the figure beats expectations or disappoints investors that you're going to get a major move. So what you need to do is to find out ahead of time what's expected for the indicator and then get ready to buy or sell depending on whether the data is better or worse than expected. You've got to move pretty quickly. Often most of the move is over within five minutes. And sometimes the market's moving so quickly that you can't actually trade at the price displayed on the screen. It's hard. Now, another idea is to wait five or 10 minutes or so and see if the initial momentum fades and then try to get in on a reversal. The idea is that the market often overshoots because people tend to act first and think later. But that's tricky because, first off, it doesn't always reverse like that. And secondly, even if it does, you might miss the move. Or worse, you might get in on what you think is a reversal, but turns out not to be. It's a high-risk technique that depends on your being able to analyze the news quickly. I'm Marshall Gittler, head of re investment research here at FX Primus the safest place to trade. Go ahead, make my day. Ask me a question.